All right, I'm getting ready to head down to Springfield, Missouri. Join up with Mark, Terry, and Taylor for a big award banquet tonight at Bass Pro Shops. The Missouri Conservation Heritage Foundation is hosting the Lewis and Clark Award Banquet. Mark and Terry are actually receiving the National Core Discovery Award. So we're so proud, super pumped. But first up, DeerCast is saying great. Of course, we're gonna have a great cold front tonight. So Ben and Scott are gonna head out to the lease. They're gonna see if they can catch up with the short G210, the deer I had an encounter with the other night. Then we're gonna show you a couple great youth hunts from Drury Outdoors team members, Brandon Jennings and Dave Kramer. So you wanna stick around for that. I hope you're enjoying deer season 22. The weather is deluxe over the Midwest here the last few weeks. Hopefully it is in your neck of the woods. You gotta get out there and hopefully get one on the ground. This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by the incredibly durable Morel Shooting Target. With many designs available, you're sure to find a target that fits your practicing style. All right, well, I finally made it back for some of these Deer Season 22 festivities. I feel like being in Iceland getting married, I missed out on a lot. Uh, Wade with his opening day Missouri buck, Perry with his Missouri buck, Taylor's had a few great encounters. So now that I'm back, I've actually got the chance to hunt for myself today. All the Drury's, they're, they're down in Springfield getting another prestigious award. Um, so what Ben and I are gonna do real quick this afternoon before we get into prime time, uh, we've got a spot up here where we wanna hang a new tree stand and prep for tomorrow's hunt with Matt. One of the most important pieces to hang in tree stands. Use them. It's a pretty good set. I mean, both seats are pretty comfortable. That's pretty easy to get in and out of. And since this terrain kind of drops off down in front of us here with a little bit of trimming that we did, it kind of opened everything up and we got a good view of this whole entire bottom. So I guess the next thing we're gonna do is hang this Reconyx camera, see if there's anything crossing right here in front of it and uh, hope for the best. Conics. found a couple fresh scrapes over on this side of the field that we normally see a lot of deer. Tonight, Ben and I, we're getting ready to shoot the mission crossbow, make sure that the Leupold scope's still dialed in from last fall, uh, but we're gonna head back to Hot Corner. I know I just got back from Iceland, but Matt's sending me out. I'm enjoying it, because I'm in front of the lens. I got Ben filming tonight, and we're going after the short G210. So, uh, awesome buck, and I'd be happy to get him on the ground and get us kicked off here for deer season 22. Always gotta have the nose jammer. Just a little extra insurance on the way in. Let's go have some fun. Beautiful Missouri day here with a cold front sliding through on deer cast. It's showing great, that perfect green color that you love to see. So I couldn't be more excited to be in here with Ben behind the camera and uh, hopefully get a nice kill on the ground here for you guys here in deer season 22. Deer 30 hour, uh, looking at deer cast. The forecast has stayed the same. We've still got a great, I uh, just got a Reconyx ping from camera up front and we saw our first doe moving on this property tonight. So I know one thing, that mission crossbow is ready to eat. Hopefully they stay right here in front and bring in one of those mature bucks.
right, so we just had three bucks move through here. Ric Flair finally popped out like we've been seeing on the camera. He popped out downwind of us, worked out, and he was standing there at 30 yards. I guess our only hope now is that the short G2 boat comes out right here in front of us and doesn't get downwind. Get ahead of your game with a 14-day deer cast prediction, mapping, radar, wind check, rain station, path tracking, and more. Prep, predict, and pursue with DeerCast. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Deer Season 22. On this episode, I'll be out in Missouri with my son Jax Jennings, and Dave Kramer will be out with a family member in Iowa. Two awesome hunts, one great episode, can't wait for y'all to watch. To kind of set the stage for you, Jax's hunt didn't begin the night that we started hunting. It began back in March when I purchased this farm. You know, I had thought about it for a long time. I had wanted a farm in Northern Missouri. You know, my end game is to actually live in Southern Iowa one of these days, and I'd like to have a Northern Missouri farm to kind of complement. This farm popped up on the market, and I couldn't pass it up. It's in a great neighborhood, and it's time to get to work on it. When I bought this farm, my eyes immediately became glued to this cove that ran north and south on the north side of this property. I got to talking with the farmer. He's gonna plant beans on the property, but I kinda want my deer to have everything. So I actually bought two acres back from him in that northern cove that I was telling you about. So I'm gonna plant corn in there. He's gonna have beans out here, and then I'm gonna plant some green plots off the end of that corn. I'm gonna try and give them deer everything they need to be right there in that one spot. All right, access is one of the most important things in the early season. As you can see here, this new farm we got set up. We're actually gonna come in along this road edge, go up and we're gonna hunt that cornfield right there. But all the cover up over that hill, now the deer that are bedded in there can see us coming. We're gonna come around this corner, hop in the edge of that cornfield, and I cut a hole through the cornfield right into our blind. So, you know, one thing I've learned through hunting early season deer, you bump them one time, they know you're hunting them one time. Them big deer, their level of moving in the daylight is going to go down significantly. So mind your access in and out when you're on your farms and doing your work during the middle of the summer. Come in after 10 a.m. Leave before 5. Stay out of there when they're doing their thing. Do not go in the woods. Stay out of their territory. If you want them to move in the daylight in the early season, you got to do that stuff. That's it's critical. Missouri archer season is about to open. Jack's been practicing all summer, and our Reconic cell cameras have had a lot of great deer moving in the daylight on this farm.
shot, dude. Great shot. Man, what a good shot. 32 yards. And you smoked him. You're as happy as lunchtime. <laughs> yes, that was a great deer. That's our <laughs> You're such a good shot. <clears throat> Great job, buddy. There he is. <laughs> Got him. Heck yeah, man. Ooh, watch out, there's a huge rock right there. That's why I'm like five minutes ago, I was waiting for you to book up. That's a great rock, huh? Mm -hmm. You're seven years old and you killed two really awesome bucks. Mm -hmm. All right, here he is in the daylight. Brought Jackson's buck out here. Kid's seven years old and already smashed two great deer. This deer, you know, the Reconic cell cameras came in huge. We went off the MRI, made a risk, and drove an hour and a half, and it really paid off. You know, them cell cameras are a little bit expensive, but with diesel at $5 a gallon, you know, a few wasted trips up there more than pay for a camera like that. So that camera really put us on this deer. But Jack's made an absolutely great shot. Congratulations, buddy. It's a heck of a deer. Big buck for your second buck. You got two big bucks in two years. You're the man, aren't you? I could not be happier for Jax. He's on the board on his first hunt of the year. Vastly different from last year. That kid hunted so hard last year, didn't get it done until the middle of December. So I could not be happier for him. And now we're gonna jump over to Dave Kramer as he takes out a family member for an early season Iowa hunt. Well, here we go, deer season 22. I'm going up to uh, film my cousin's son, Payson, hunt the Iowa's youth season. It just started. This will be our first sit. Carter just purchased a new farm. Three pieces, as a matter of fact, at a uh, pretty, pretty good chunk of ground. And we've got a lot of good potential on it. A lot of bucks and basically we're gonna let pace and shoot whatever he wants and uh, pretty good strong south wind which is what we need to go into this ground blind that we just put up uh, two weeks ago on a really nice biologic deer radish plot that we put in it looks fantastic I've got a Reconyx camera ultra fire hanging on it we haven't checked it yet because we've been wanting to stay out in case we were gonna hunt it here during the use so Payson shot that 350 legend of mine, the Winchester, uh, last weekend, and unbelievable that kid can shoot. He was touching bullets at 100 yards and actually shot out to 280 where Carter's got a couple metal, uh, metal targets hanging out there. And he hit that thing four times in a row with the 350 legend. I don't think we're gonna have a problem if we get a deer in front of us, him being able to shoot it, so. Uh, we're gonna jump in a muddy infinity three man and uh, sit till dark. So stick with us. Deer season 22 is just beginning for the Kramers. Not exactly the day we hoped for, but I, I'm hopeful, man, that we'll uh, we'll see some action. So let's uh, cross our fingers, my friend. First day, we, I'm, I'm anxious to get in there. <laughs>
って。<笑>